Morning everyone, this is Sripal, a final year mechanical engineering student here at Triplatidium Kanchipuram. Through my past experiences in drones, rovers and ATVs, I have developed an interest in robotics and product design. So presently I am working towards developing a rescue robot for disaster response. Today for Altair Global Student Contest, I have decided to optimize the body of a snake robot which I have been working on, which is inspired by a DIY Audino snake robot developed by Open Electronics. The snake robot shown in figure 1 and 2 is a redundant robot made up of repeating units oriented alternatingly perpendicular to each other. Figure 1 shows an isometric view of the snake lifting up while figure 2 shows a side view of the lower member on the ground and others in air. This system can be analyzed as a uniformly distributed rod connected to a motor at the end as depicted in figure 3 and 4. Using Lagrange mechanics, we can calculate the torque equation of one DOF uniformly distributed rod as shown in the figure by the formula below. Here, M and L are the mass and length of the rod respectively. From the lagrange euler torque equation, we understand that at constant torque, the mass and length of this rod would be inversely proportional to each other. From this, we can infer that by meticulously optimizing the weight of each unit in our robot, we can significantly enhance its lifting capacity, allowing it to elevate larger segments of the snake into the air. Now let's turn our attention to Altair Inspire. We have successfully imported both the servo and a single unit of robot's body. From my very first encounter with Altair Inspire, I was impressed by its remarkable user friendliness and intuitive interface and discovered how easy it is to navigate and utilize its features. One particular aspect that stood out to me was the software's exceptional freedom in terms of optimization capabilities. This unique feature truly sets Altair Inspire apart from its competitors, making it the ultimate choice for those seeking a robust and adaptable solution. Under geometry, by using partition and push-pull tools, we have created the previously shown design and non-design spaces. Materials can be assigned by right-clicking on the part and choosing the materials required from the drop-down. In our case, it is ABS plastic. Every single unit is a consolidated part that holds one servo and pivots to the preceding unit servo at the back. Here, we have considered the four mounting holes of the servos as the supports. We have four different load cases, one and two caused due to the load applied by the previous servo on this part and 3 and 4 caused due to reaction torque generated on the part due to this unit servo. As observed in load cases 1 and 2, the displacement exceeds that of 3 and 4. However, it remains notably minimum, indicating that current design is excessively over-engineered. Next, we create a shape control to maintain the symmetry of our part by selecting XY plane from the symmetry in shape control 2. The ultimate aim of optimization is to achieve the most efficient design, taking into account a set of prioritized criteria and constraints. In this instance, our primary focus is on minimizing the unit's mass. Hence, we set our objective as minimum mass. Given that the snake robot operates in demanding environments, we establish a minimum factor safety of 3 under the stress constraint. Lastly, to ensure highly precise results while reducing computational time, we set the minimum thickness constraint to 2 mm and proceed to run the optimization. Finally, we have the optimized part. The obtained results appear highly promising. However, it remains imperative to conduct an analysis on the part to verify if the outcomes comply within the specified limits. Now, after analyzing the new design with the same old load cases, with load case 1, we can see that a minimum factor of safety of 2.4 is obtained, which is acceptable, and a maximum displacement of 0.6 mm, which is also very minimal. Similar results are obtained for all the other load cases. Since all the parameters fall within the specified limits, we can readily accept the solution. But here, the two motor mounts are not connected. Even though our part can withstand without them, we still would require them to mount our motor. So these additional parts are added. Now let us compare the original and the optimized parts. By analyzing the data from slicing software, we compared the part time and weight of both parts. The results clearly demonstrate the significance of this optimization. The initial print time, which stood at 6 hours, is now halved with this optimized part. Additionally, the weight of this part has been substantially reduced by 3.5 times, plummeting from 32 grams to 9 grams. These findings serve to underscore the importance and advantages of optimization process, particularly with the ease of performing it using Altair Inspire software. Thank you for your valuable time and consideration.